What's going on YouTube world? This is your guy, Sills the Man. Thank you for coming back. And here we talk about understanding the mind of men. And I created this channel two, three years ago just to put my, my young nieces on game about understanding the mind of men so that they don't have to go through the things us grown folk have been through when they become of age. And keeping it in that mindset, this is a very important topic to talk about. So you avoid many heartbreaks and headaches and stress and not wasting your time. So today's topic is going to be about the biggest differences between a man who wants you and a man who needs you. Two totally different things. And I'm going to talk about that in today's video. But before I start, make sure you follow me, subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think and share this video to anyone you think will benefit from this. Totally appreciate you, thank you. And let's get started. So the first big difference I'ma bring up between a man who wants you and a man who needs you is a man who wants you consumes you with his eyes, but a man who needs you consumes you with his spirit. Yes, I love talking about spiritual talk. But take note of what I said, a man who wants you consumes you with his eyes, but a man who needs you consumes you with his spirit. Let me explain what that means, all right? So a man who wants you consumes you with his eyes. That means he looks at you and he wants you. He likes what he sees. You have something, physical uh, features, physical traits. You may look like you have money. You got a nice car, physical things. He likes that. He likes that you have these things. He likes that you possess these things. And now he wants that along with you. So it's not just about you. It's about what you have that he wants, right? But a lot of this desire from this man is straight up lust. And lust usually ends in a bad result. Let's be honest here. But because of this temporary desire, lustful desire, it is not always about you. It's about what you have that he's either missing or that he just wants for the time being sometimes. But a man who needs you is on a spiritual connection, a spiritual desire with yours. He needs you. He doesn't care about the things you have. He doesn't care about the things you possess. He doesn't care about superior looks. He does not care about none of that. He needs you, your personality, your character, the things you're about, your morals, your beliefs, the things that cannot be grabbed, touched, bought, sold, returned none of that he believes your makeup the things that are inside of you the things that build who you are is what's most important to him and he wants to connect with that that the reason why these two things are super important to be aware of is that a man will base his actions his follow-up actions based on those two things so if he wants you he's going to do things to show that he wants you and just that but if a man needs you he's going to show just that too that he needs you. All his actions are gonna show things of need. And those two sets of actions are totally different from each other. Because think about it, when you want something versus when you need something, they're different. You don't do the same things to things that you need to things that you want, not at all. So pay attention to that. The second big difference between a man who wants you and a man who needs you is a man who wants you prioritizes flesh and everything involved with that and a man who needs you prioritizes intimacy and real connection. Now notice, both things are a form of connection. Like when it comes to touch, someone is touching you with their flesh on your flesh. That is connection. But with the wrong person, it's just a bad idea and rooted in lust most times. This involves sex, lust, greed, because this person just wants you for that. But a man who needs you, he wants that deep intimacy. He wants that real connection. That involves figuring out who you are, real conversations, taking the initiative to hang out with you, learning about you, learning the things you like and dislike. That is a different type of connection. That is a seated and intentional desire, a desire of longevity versus the desire of touch, flesh on flesh, that is a temporary desire. So if there's anything I want you to take out of this video, if you're confused, if a man wants you or needs you, being with this man, if you feel temporary versus if you feel like you're a part of something of longevity, listen to yourself. The next biggest sign between a man who wants you and the man who needs you is consistency. But hold, hold on, on, hold on. It's not just consistency, it's purposeful consistency. Because that's something a lot of people don't talk about too, right? They talk about consistency is most important and it's very essential. Yes, it is. But what type of consistency is most important? Because a mosquito is consistent, a gnat is consistent, those things will not stop bothering you. They do their job very well, but is that good for you? 
What you want is purposeful consistency. I mean, just think about it. There's a lot of situationships out there where people who've been with someone for 20 years and not married or been in and out of relationships with someone who is just straight up toxic or abusive. That is consistency too. They're consistently being involved in this toxic cycle. They're consistently being with someone who doesn't really want them, who doesn't really need them, or playing games with them. That is consistency. But purposeful, intentional consistency, and that is how you figure out if a guy wants you versus if he needs you. When a guy needs you, his consistency will be intentional and his intention will be consistent. Another way to figure out if a guy wants you or versus if a guy needs you is if you feel tolerated or if you feel valued. Now, when you're tolerated, that is a trait of someone who just wants you. And people who are tolerated will find themselves in the same cycles with the same type of men. Or they will find themselves in relationships with the same man in and out of it, back and forth, on off. Because you are tolerated. You are not needed. You are not valued. And someone who needs you values you. When you value something, let's let's take it out of the human aspect, right? When you value a thing, you hold on to that thing, right? You take care of that thing. You don't even want scratches or dents. You don't want this thing to break because you value it. This thing is expensive. You don't want no damage to it. This thing brings value to your life, so it is valuable to you. You don't tolerate this thing. You need this thing. It has great value to you. And if you just put yourself in, in those moments, right, of being valued versus being tolerated, those are hugely different feelings on the inside. I just want you to sit there and think, man, when I am valued, I feel so amazing. I feel needed. But when I'm just tolerated, I feel kind of worthless. I feel confused. I feel down. Those are two different feelings, right? Listen to your feelings, all right? That's what I want you to do. Listen to your feelings. Don't ignore them. The last thing I'm gonna bring up, an interesting mindset of a man who wants you versus a man who needs you is present versus future. A man who wants you speaks more heavily in immediate or near terms. A man who needs you speaks more about long term and he speaks in an inclusive fashion, like it's just me and you. So a man who wants you most of the time does not want you in his future. He wants you for now, temporarily. He wants you to give him what he wants now. There's usually no talks about the future. It's all about now, 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 but a man who needs you always places you in his future plans. He talks about big things and not small things. He talks about important things and it is obvious. I just want y'all to look at the conversations you have with the person. Are the overall conversations y'all have about something? Are they important? Are they essential to y'all? And what time frame does he talk to you about things? Listen, listen, listen. So I hope this video helps y'all. And if you are in this situation or know someone who is in this situation, I believe this will definitely help y'all understand if a man just wants you or if he truly needs you. This is your guy, Seals the Man. Thank you for coming back and watching my video. Hope it helps. And I will see you at my next video. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.